Hello and welcome to this West Midlands School of Clinical Hypnotherapy revision video. Today we're going to be looking at neurosis and psychosis, some foundational concepts. So let's start with neurosis. Neurosis is when a person has a problem but they're aware that they have a problem. So they very much, they might have a behaviour, they might have an action, uh, but they can't control it in some way. So a classic example of that might be if they have a twitch or a tick where there's no biological reason for that to be there, but yet they can't control that. That could be considered uh, a neurotic problem. And there is an implication with uh, a neurosis that this may be driven in some way uh, by an underlying problem, uh, an early life learning, a stressor of some sort, and that you may have to deal with that. However, there is also the possibility that a stressor set up the problem and the stressor has gone away, but the problem is now habitual. But a neurosis is a problem where the sufferer, the patient, the client, has effectively one foot in reality and one foot outside of reality. They have a problem, they know they have a problem, but they're unable to take control of it. Psychosis, by comparison, is when a person is out of touch with external reality. Quite often a psychosis will be internally logical, but it will be disconnected from the external world. So um, very much both feet outside of reality, if you like. Um, so be on the signs for things like uh, hallucinations, uh, grandiose thinking, delusional thinking, um, rapid speech resulting in trailing off, loss of uh, thought patterns, that sort of thing. If you're seeing these sorts of signs, it may be that the patient who's presented to you has got a psychosis, in which case you refer them to a doctor. Neurosis is about as far, is about as difficult as a hypnotherapist really should be working. Um, now there might be some evidence to suggest that in certain types of psychosis there may actually be beneficial effects to hypnotherapy, but that type of work should only be undertaken by somebody who is specially trained, usually with a psychiatric background. Um, most hypnotherapists, they will stop at neurosis, and if they're seeing signs of psychosis, they will refer that person back to a doctor. So, neurosis, one foot in reality, one foot outside of reality, they have a problem, they're aware of the problem, but they're unable to take control of it. Psychosis, they're out of touch with reality. They're not necessarily even aware they have a problem. Okay, so if you start seeing signs of hallucination, delusion, um, very intense thoughts, take a step back, consider to yourself, does this person possibly have psychosis? And if you're in doubt, send them to the doctor. Okay, thank you very much. 